So this is a question related to simple harmonic motion. The diagram shows a loudspeaker unit. The unit contains two different loudspeakers. A woofer and a tweeter is there. Each loudspeaker contains a cone. The signal applied to a coil. So these signals are applied to the coil attached to a center of a cone and cause the cone to vibrate and set the air into vibration. And the tweeter is used to produce a high frequency sound and the woofer is used to produce a low frequency sound. So woofers and tweeters both are used to produce sound but different frequencies. The sinusoidal signal is applied to the woofer. The woofer cone moves with, an amp, uh, with simple harmonic motion and emit a frequency of 100 hertz. The center of the cone moves with an amplitude of 2.5 millimeter. State the condition. This is a very common question in simple harmonic motion. Like what are the conditions for an object to undergo a simple harmonic motion? Whenever object undergoes simple harmonic motion, we say acceleration or the force proportional to displacement. And the second mark, the direction of the acceleration is towards the mean position or direction of the force is towards the mean position. Force and acceleration are always directed towards the mean position. Then we have the we have to calculate the maximum velocity. So the maximum velocity for an object which undergo a simple harmonic motion it's given by omega a. This is a formula for the maximum, and omega is equals to two pi f. Because omega it can be two pi divided by t, and time period is reciprocal of frequency, so omega is two pi f. So in place of omega, we can write two pi. 2 pi f and then into amplitude we'll get this v. So 2 is uh, fixed, uh, then uh, pi is 3.14. The frequency, they mentioned it was 100 hertz in the question, the frequency of vibration of the woofer. So frequency of vibration 100 and the amplitude. What is the amplitude that's given in millimeter always convert into meter. So this will be 2.5 into 10 power. Three, uh, minus three because uh, we convert the And we need a maximum, no, the main formula for speed is equals to V is, a is, equal, uh, v is equals to amplitude omega A or sine omega T. But for maximum, this, this value should be one because if we need a maximum velocity, so V is equals to A omega. So we just multiply, we'll get the speed at which it will vibrate. It is 1.57 meter per second. That's the speed at which this, uh, will move the maximum speed of a vibration when an object undergo a simple harmonic motion. The graph shows the displacement. Remember one thing, whenever a displacement, first you will identify because it's starting with zero then reaches a maximum value. So this is a function, the displacement is a function of sign. The displacement is a function of sign. When we take a derivative of a sign, that will be cosine. So velocity will be a function of cosine. And if we want acceleration, so acceleration will be from derivative of cosine is minus sine. So this will be equal to minus sine. Or if the displacement is a function of cosine, derivative of cosine is minus sine. So this will be minus sine and derivative of a sine is cosine. So it will be minus cosine. Like this is how we relate the displacement with velocity and expression. 
So first we always identify because some questions displacement might be a function of sign. Some places, some questions, it might be a function of cosine. So in this one, because the displacement is starting with a zero, then it reaches a maximum value. So it shows a sine graph. So displacement is a sine graph. When we take a derivative of a sine, it is cosine. So velocity should be cosine graph. And when we take a derivative again, it will be minus sine. So acceleration will be minus sine. The question is add a line to a graph to show how the velocity of a cone vary with the same time interval. So if the displacement is a function of a sine, the velocity should be a function of cosine. And the displacement goes. So we have to draw a cosine graph. So in a cosine graph, like when it starts, it starts with a maximum value. Then it starts to decrease to minimum, then in opposite. Because uh, cos zero is uh, cosine zero is maximum. Then 90 is zero, then negative, then zero, then maximum. So this will be the, dis uh, the velocity time graph for this object. If the same question was there and they asked acceleration time graph, so acceleration time graphs are like mirror images of velocity time. So velo and uh, mirror image of displacement time. If displacement was sine, this will be minus sine. So minus sine graph will be opposite, like the same time interval, but opposite. So this is representing acceleration, but they did not ask for it. Usually they ask for velocity. So just check what is a displacement graph. The derivative of a displacement graph will be equal to velocity and derivative of a velocity graph will be equal to expression time graph. At a particular frequency, the sound produced is distorted as a loudspeaker unit start to oscillate with increasing amplitude. Why the loudspeaker units start to oscillate with increasing amplitude? Basically, this is a phenomenon of resonance. Resonance means, resonance means when one object for the other object to vibrate, we call this phenomena as resonance. What actually happened? When these woofers are vibrating, when the natural frequency of the woofer, like frequency of a woofer matches with the frequency of the loudspeaker, it will start to vibrate with a maximum amplitude. And we call this phenomena as resonance. So resonance means when one object for the other object to vibrate by applying a frequency equal to or a closer to natural frequency of the other object. So what actually happened, the phenomena for resonance ha happened and the driving frequency, uh, the loudspeaker, vibrate because of resonance. And what happened in a resonance, the driving frequency, in this case, the driving frequency is a frequency of a woofer, match with the natural frequency of the speaker, or a loudspeaker. That cause maximum energy transfer. So it vibrate with a maximum amplitude. So in a resonance, when one object for the other object to vibrate, we call that as a resonance. So what actually happened here, like this is a loudspeaker and this is a, a woofer. When woofer is vibrating, it matches with the natural frequency of a loudspeaker. So maximum energy absorbed by the loudspeaker and that also start to vibrate. Maybe you have uh, seen like example, when sometime you're playing any kind of a uh, music or any sound on a speaker, the speaker also tend to vibrate. That is due to the phenomena of resonance. 
then how the effect described may be reduced. Like how we can reduce the, normally if we want to reduce the amplitude of vibration, so we use dampers. What dampers will do, they will remove the energy from the system or by damping the motion and how a motion can be damped. Like example, we can add any, like a foam can be attached to a speaker uh, so that it will absorb maximum amount of energy and small amount of energy will be transferred to the loudspeaker. So how describe, uh, the, how, the, explain how the effect described may be reduced uh, by use of damper. And what can be used as a damper? Different uh, objects can be used. Normally, tough objects are good for damping because they have a greater tendency to absorb energy before the breakdown, uh, which will reduce the energy or re remove the energy from the system. Here we can use like a foam or a sponge here as a damper. Like a surrounding, my, we may have a, or even a bottom of this, we may have a foam. Like the base, the bottom might have a foam or surrounding might have a foam. So it which absorb maximum amount of energy, does not allow to vibrate for a longer period of a time. Suggest why the woofer and the tweeter are different sizes. You can see the size of a woofer in, in the figure. The tweeters have different size as compared to that of uh, woofers. So what is the main reason? Because twe tweeters have high frequency, like we want to produce a high frequency. If we want to produce a high frequency, if I, if I want to like cause a vibration to any object and I've, I want a high frequency. High frequency means we want a greater acceleration because we want to change the direction many times in one second. So if I want to increase the acceleration, I want to reduce the mass. That's why the tweeter size is smaller as compared to that of a woofer. Like you can see here, this is a full tweeter. That size is smaller as compared to woofer. Because for woofer, we want to produce a smaller frequency or smaller acceleration so we can use a greater mass. So answer for the last part, you will mention why their uh, uh, sizes are different so that they have different masses. The tweeter, we want to produce a high frequency, more acceleration. That's why it is smaller in mass. So lighter objects, and if we have heavy objects, lighter objects will be easy to uh, change the, uh, like accelerate as compared to the heavy objects.